Yesterday we started to learn about the three different triangle types. Equilateral triangle, scalene triangle, and isosceles triangle. For today's lesson, it'll be really good if you could actually complete it on paper using you know, pencil, ruler, and protractor if you have one. Um, even I don't even have a ruler at home, so I'm going to be using this wooden block. Um, all my stuff's at school, but just make do with what you can. So to review yesterday's lesson, an equilateral triangle, as the name suggests, has all the sides equal. And I'm going to use this wooden block to make sure all my lengths are this length here. So when creating an equilateral triangle, every single side has to be the same length. Because of that, every angle is also the same. Now when drawing triangles, we can represent the length of each side using lines. Sometimes our triangles won't be to scale, and we can do that to indicate that they are the same. Now every triangle has its angles adding up to 180 degrees. And if all these lines are equal, then these angles are equal as well. So 180 divided by three is 60. So every one of these angles is 60 degrees. And we know that that means that they are acute from our working angles in our last unit. So this is an equilateral triangle. All the angles are equal, all the sides are equal. Next, we have an isosceles triangle. The way I like to remember isosceles triangles is <clears throat> that one end is isolated from the other. So in an isosceles triangle, we have two lines that are the same length, whilst the third is different. And as you can see here, this vertex is isolated from the other two. So that's how I remember isosceles triangle. And similarly to the equilateral triangle, I'm going to indicate that these two sides are equal, leaving this one blank, indicating that it's not the same. Now they still equal 180 degrees. And since I don't have a protractor, um, we could estimate um, if this would be a right angle. Okay, these two angles are going to be very close to um, 90 degrees, so I might estimate that they're 80 degrees each. So if a triangle equals 180 degrees, and this is 80 and this is 80 equaling 160, then therefore this angle here has to be 20 degrees. So that's an isosceles triangle. So we have our equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle. And lastly, we have our scalene triangle. Now, the scalene triangle has every single side different. The length is different for every single side. And there we have it there. So every single side is different. Therefore, every angle is different. So we have a scalene isosceles and equilateral triangle. If we look at every angle, you might notice that most of them are acute. But in this scalene triangle over here, this angle is actually obtuse. So if I was to estimate the uh, degrees for this angle here, we know that the triangle is going to add up to 180. I might say that that's uh, 120 right there, a bit small. 120, leaving 60. So that might be... Um, 35, and that might be 25. So it still equals 180 degrees, but every side is different. 